Welcome back to D20 Theater. We have now for you the winner of our giveaway, sponsored by Dice Dungeons. Now, Dice before Dungeons. we get this announced, let me say that if you didn't win, good news. You can still go purchase some of their dice using the code D20 Theater to get 10% uh, off? Their entire yeah. purchase. Off your entire purchase. So go buy like 100 sets of dice. You get a pretty good discount. Um, so, are we ready to announce the winner? Yeah. Then the winner is... Andrew Cessna. Yay! All right, congratulations to Andrew. Yeah! Um, if you're watching, shoot us a message. I think we've just sent you one on Facebook. So uh, you should be able to get in touch pretty soon. And we will get those dice that you've won to uh, to you, as well as a little map you've won. Remember, uh, our, our prize here that Andrew's won was a map on a handkerchief. Uh -huh. Really great for a random encounter. It's a sort of, uh, I don't know, it's a sort of campsite on a hill Finny. with uh, with a river flowing nearby. Yeah. And a fallen log. And Very a fallen important. log. He and also. he's won four sets of, uh, of plastic <laughs> dice and one set of metal dice. One of them Haley just dropped on the floor, but, you it's know. It's in a bag. All right. Well, then we'll return to D20 Theater, our curtain opens once more. Jonah Flobes is like one of the best artists on Tumblr. That, uh, okay, good friend of mine. Okay. Uh, okay. Someone, someone's in the stream saying hi. Oh, good. Hi, Jonah Flobes. Hope you're doing good. All right, well, let's get started. Oh, yeah. um, when we left off, you were about to go speak with uh, either Arden or Nullius. So oh, they're not together, huh? Right, they're, they're at separate places. Yeah, well, you well, could I go talk to both of them, just they're separate from one another. Okay, well, then, yeah, well, uh, yeah. <coughs> uh, Arden's first, because he's alphabetically. All right, fair enough. This is one of the <laughs> chieftains. Wow, well, you're a really good leader. I'm really glad you're the leader. <laughs> this is uh, one of the chieftains of the Hill Tribesmen, yes? Mm. Yes, well, the the leader of all the Hill Tribes now. As of uh, like, Moscow. As of like an hour ago, yeah. Yes. Newly elected. Fortunate for him. All right. And us, I assure you. <laughs> ah, I see. You want right, to so you're head in? Yeah. Anybody. All right, well, heading back towards Lytherik, um, being um, honored guests and defenders of Lytherik, the guards open wide to let you pass, but as you approach, they step in your way. Aww. And one of them says, uh, I don't know who you are. Of course not. I have only just arrived. But uh, I did come here yeah, dragging he's your... He's with us and he saved your bear. Come on. I did save Yamir. I dragged him in on its sled. You're the elf that brought him back to us. I am that one, yes. It's quite a sight seeing the bear down like that. I don't think I've ever seen anyone put him down. Was that your doing? No, no, no. I simply came upon the scene of the crime. Uh, however, I think you would find that anyone would go down if they had that many arrows embedded in their person. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> but it was fun to see that. So, step on in. All right, then. <laughs> Not that was easier. Mm -hmm. Fine. Uh, well, you head towards the, uh, <coughs> the large hall where you were meeting the other day, uh, as we saw your foibles um, in that hall. <laughs> and when you arrive, uh, yeah, go team. Arden is sitting Fresh. at the head of the, uh, the largest table, and Eomer sits nearby speaking with him. Um, as you walk in, Arden looks up and he says, Friends, welcome. I thank you again. And uh, we thank you for... Continuing to allow us uh, passage here. Uh, we wanted to come by and let you know we are preparing to make our next move. We'll be heading to uh, the Crow's Gate to ensure that we have a foothold. Huh. I had to go there once. Hate that place. <laughs> Hopefully then we will not be around for too long. Next we will head uh, further east. Oh. Well. They say that in the east, the world ends. I hope you don't fall off. <laughs> I'm sure we will go far enough. Yes, uh, I'm sure you will. Well, tell me whatever you see down there. I'd like to hear of it. We will keep in touch as best we can. <laughs> Fortunately, the princess came with a pigeon master. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, he's great. I said fortunately. Okay, and good. Fortunately. Yeah. Well... I've got some trained in the use of pigeons. <laughs> we can receive their messages if they send them this way. 
He says, uh... Um, Imagine being the, the pigeon guy yeah, I, I, in a camp full of barbarians. I, yeah, I, and I, you are the pigeon guy. Yeah, I do have an image of someone like, don't mess with me, lad. I'm trained. Oh, and they use oh, pigeons. As as Barthun, uh, Eamor sees the smile crack on your face, and he says, Oh, you wouldn't be laughing if you saw him. Even I fear to tangle with our pigeon master. <laughs> I would too. Oh, oh, so Some say he's got the blood of an ogre in his veins. <coughs> also a pigeon. Very <laughs> right, impressive. Totally, you. I feel some type of even your bird wranglers are not to be. Especially missing. our bird wranglers. Um, Arden laughs and says, "You'd be pleasantly surprised." if you fought alongside him in battle, or horrifically terrified if you fought against him. Well, it's too bad we did not have his aid on the battlefield earlier then. Mm-hmm. So I'm glad, he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that he was not harmed in the battle. Aye, as are we. Well, which passage will we be taking to the east? We head around the hills to get to the river or straight east. We will likely tread straight east. Mm. That's too bad. Why is that? Well, our armies are getting ready to move. With the election of a Morskov, we've had to declare war. And of course, we declared it on the Orcs. Mm. Mm. So, our armies are preparing. We think there's Orc activity on the peninsula to the north. We were planning on heading through the the forests there, but our forward scouts don't bring back good news. I don't know. What do they say? The forest has been darkening. They say that darkness spreads and during the day no light can reach the forest floor. We don't know what's causing it, but whatever it is, it's got the men frightened. Superstitious, you see. Mm. Of course, if they're right, there could be who knows how many evil spirits there. Mm. It would make travel easier if that were dealt with somehow. Mm. And that's, of course, not to mention the the dragon. What? Uh, Well, uh, legend holds there's a dragon that lives in the mangroves of the swamp there within the forest. Uh. <laughs> a great scaly is. beast of black. I know what a dragon is. Well, uh, of the black, at least. <laughs> Not the black. That, that uh, forgive my ignorance. Yeah. <laughs> it's just colored black. I see. It's not, it's not the same. It's different. It's different. I don't want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> Is he dead or is he... I don't, don't like it. I don't, don't, don't Okay. Do well. not. Let's not go there. That's that's a little racist, don't you think? Oh, no, no, it's... I don't want to die. Yeah. <laughs> You're afraid? Of a dragon? <laughs> it is a fool who does not fear death. Well, I'm not afraid of death. <laughs> I'm afraid of the dragon specifically. You're afraid of the dragon killing you. Well, more so the way they'll kill me. Hmm. Like fire... I walk oh, they out, don't, like, eaten. If it is a black dragon, they don't... Uh, As they discuss, I walk out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly wish we could assist you in the endeavor against uh, what dragon may be there. Uh, unfortunately, the crow's gate does call us immediately. You should prevent the orcs from <coughs> getting further into the hills by cutting him off there. That's wise of you. Well, you've got our blades... Whenever you need them. Anytime you call, I'll send troops. We thank you for your loyalty and for your assistance in this war. And we thank you for yours. You're not one to leave unfinished business, I've seen. I thank you for helping us when we needed it the most. Eamon here will be going with you. Ah, you did not say. Good. <laughs> That's right. Ah. 
I don't want to confuse the men as to who's in charge. And he, he, gives, uh, he gives Arden a, a sly look and he says, So instead I'll be going with you. I represent my people alongside you. And if you've got, you say there's a, a pigeon master coming with you, I'm sure the pigeon masters of the, uh, the eastern tribes are not quite as hardy as ours. So I'll protect him when need arises. That's what I was going to do. And I should hope that we will have the opportunity to settle your score. Aye. That's my one condition. I told Arden as much, and he said he's sure you'd agree to it. I want to find Fiaker. And I want to break his neck. He will be all yours once we encounter him. Good. Well, we don't know much about where he went. But according to what we have learned, it seems he headed to the northeast. If we're bound east, we might find more evidence. As you say. Then we will see what the dragons we can follow. Ah, oh, the dragons just now. Okay, good. I'm just afraid of the dragon now. Yeah, if we head to the Don't northeast, we have evasion. Well, and he headed. Yeah. He headed to the northeast as well from, from where they were. Ah, uh, the the battle right over here. So he, he might be in these hills, or he might have gone further up, which right. Crow's Gate's there. That's that so way. He, you know, that's that direction. Right on. <coughs> we probably just go the way we're going to go, just straight shot. And if he's been traveling that way, we could run into him. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That's good. I'm pleased to see that your angel is seem to be healing. Aye, and I'm told that you're the one who uh, I'm to thank for getting back here in one piece. Well, I could not just leave you there. Leading out in the snow, half a bear. I might have been more than half at the time. <laughs> well, I thank you. It's it's not something I would have expected from one of your people. I will pride myself on continuing to smash your expectations. Then. <clears throat> well, shall we be off then? We shall. We have only parting words now for Nolius. Right, well, I'll leave you to those. Where should I meet uh, your little pigeon man? <laughs> the, the pigeon master is with the princess in her tent uh, outside of the encampment. Right. Well, I'll go meet the princess too. <laughs> oh, and he adjusts his tunic and wipes some froth from his beard <laughs> and starts heading that direction. An invaluable asset, I am sure. <laughs> yes, it would be unwise to underestimate a shifter in need of combat. <laughs> Arden says, um, says, I'll have set aside for you whenever you need them, just so you know. Two groups of soldiers ready to fight for you. Two clans. They're all yours. When you call them, they'll be there. Very well. Then we will keep that in mind and send a message if we do need their assistance. That's generous. Very well. Well then, I've got work to do here. Troops to rally, men to train. Soldiers to kick into gear now. Off with you! Yes, with you. we have quite a travel ahead of us. Um, on our way out, I'll... Dark Elf. Yes. Oh, I wish hard. to speak with you alone for a moment. I would like to speak with you as well. I would catch up. If you would like to go with me, with Nalias, uh, let him know we are on our way. As you say. Are you guys going to head on to Nalias then? I'm already gone. I'm <laughs> He's out of there. Oh yeah, you left a while ago. Yeah. I'm going to train my doggo some more. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I'm just going to go okay, over cool. near Nalias. Well, probably not going to talk to him. In that case, um, he won't want to talk to me. Says, you said you wanted to talk to me as well. Yes, when we were... Beating Thaddeus off, you mentioned his uh, penchant for finishing his business. <laughs> Seems as though we had the same thing we wanted to talk about. Yes. It was a smart move your friends pulled. Smart. But I don't appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, he, he says, uh, he sorry. says, I heard what the big orc said. That the Yarbir attacked him and that this attack was vengeance. I also happen to know there was no such attack. And I, I'm sure you know 
that I did notice when your friends were gone for a day. No. We were just sick. No, I'm not here. Uh, why? <laughs> Throw it out of my it's, it's good that you're not there I to say that. cannot speak for my past comrades. <laughs> but I'm sure whatever it is they were traveling for, it was in good faith. Don't play the fool. <laughs> <laughs> he says, uh, I trust that this cunning will be used as a weapon against our enemy. And I expect that it won't be used again against my people. If it is, you'll see that the Yarbir have cunning of their own. I will submit. Yes, it was an underhanded tactic that I employed. I will not do it again, and I'm certainly glad to have your assistance in spite of it. So long as you don't do it again. Go off with you and use that mind to benefit my people. For the ill folk. <laughs> For the ill folk. And Dark Elf! Ah. <laughs> Don't tell Yemer. He wouldn't take it as well as I do. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> that was in character. I don't think there are any zippers in the but. <laughs> it's an invention on my island. <laughs> Alright, are you heading out then? I will, yeah. All right. I'll You're going to be late now. It's okay. <coughs> Dimension door. Darn it. <laughs> Just over there. Ah, when I you arrive, I um, <laughs> you find uh, Nullius praying um, in his tent. Um, and as you enter, you can hear him saying, Blessed be the sword that drives forward with the force of the light. Yeah. Blessed be the shield that protects the light from the dark. Yeah. Then we go out into the world. And save it from our foes. Then we crush our enemies and avenge our allies. Light upon us all. In his name. He stands and he turns and he sees you standing there and he says, I'm sorry. I had not heard you enter. We would not interrupt. Booster Gold. Sorry. (laughs) And then Booster Gold appears. Whoa! Uh Booster Gold, for those who don't know, is, is our cat. And he, he is really interested in a computer that's running OBS right now. No, boy. Um, so anyway. Nellie says, I have not heard you enter. I'm very quiet. Sneaky, sneaky. Well, we wanted to bid you farewell. We are moving on to our next target, Crossgate. It's a good place to go. A wicked city of vice and evil. Hopefully... You'll be able to work some good there. Does he stare longingly into the distance like that? I mean, he's looking at a map. Oh, okay. I was oh, yeah. Used to yeah, I mean, all these guys, they've got the maps. Maps is important. Yeah. Pulls one yes. from the barrel strapped to his back. <laughs> the princess has... <laughs> seven barrels. <laughs> uh, the princess has suggested that there may be orc spies in the city. We are to investigate and rob them if this is the case and assure that the gate will be on our side in the battle to come. I always hated spies, and now I find myself forced to use them in order to win a fight. <sighs> yes, I hope you root these spies out and do what must be done to end them. The Crow's Gate would be a valuable ally and a horrendous enemy. What? Do you not know the Crow's Gate? No. I lived a very sheltered yeah, life. Yeah, the richest place in the entire West. That's right. That's pretty cool. They help to supply the academy. Is that good or bad? Very it depends. Good. It depends okay, on whether good. you are on the that's good side good. or the bad side of the academy. Even when Grimacath <laughs> controlled the waste in the wake of the Third Rise, before we had to pull out when the Canaans came, we were never able to fully take the Crow's Gate. We were forced to grant them independence. I hope that this time they will ally willingly against the greater threat. Not only the orcs, but these fiends as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Then we will bid you well. We have with us a pigeon master and we'll send you word if we need any. <laughs> Excellent. That's good. Communication is vital 
during the war. Wherever you trade, if you find a nice spot for it, we could use a few more forward operating bases. And since you've got a pigeon master, you could send us messages as needed. If you find a nice spot, let us know. We've heard tell of an old abandoned fort. No. Uh, and he, uh, he points on his map. He says, not too far from here, just on the edge of the woods. Oh. Near the river. Okay. <gasps> okay. He says, um, east of where they fought. Maybe Catherine knows about them. Maybe so. Okay. Um, abandoned he, forts are really entirely abandoned. They're he says, useful uh, fortifications and at the very least a roof in the case of rain. That is a fair assessment. This fort is one we haven't known of in centuries. It was it was last occupied, as far as we know, during <coughs> um, the crusade that Thrymachai led against the warlock kings. It may be gone now. But if it's there, and if it is recoverable, we might have a good base to defend the mouth of the river. And against anything coming from the forest, that would also... Give us a point in order to communicate with the Crow's Gate. Mm-hmm. Just a suggestion. Mm. We'd like several forward operating bases, so if you're able, don't stop at the one. Anything you find, we'll convert it. The more we take, the more we can exert our influence. The more we exert our influence, the more protected and safer to travel these lands become. Mm-hmm. In mechanical terms, as you establish forward operating bases, the danger level of different areas will go down. I was going to say, this is sounding like uh, take the territory <coughs> and <laughs> <laughs> dig it. Let's we capture the flag. I'm playing Risk. Yeah. This, this first, this abandoned fort you mentioned is a detour, but on the way to the gate. We will stop by and send you a message once we have secured it. Excellent. I'm glad to hear it. Um, he says... Uh, there was also a, um, a lord that we had hoped would ally with us. If, again, this is all if you come across it in your travels. We don't expect you to go out of your way. You seem to have your own agendas here. But there was a lord that we had heard of um, that uh, he, he was a worshipper of the Green Way. He would quickly ally himself but it seems his city is under siege. We don't know how long they've been under siege at this point, or at this point, who knows, they could even be taken. Lord Handen of Orinstead is the name. We heard that Handen himself had fallen. Mm -hmm. It's just a rumour at this point, but that's what we've heard. If you could check on him, he'd be certain to ally to us. Do you know where we could find the Orange State? Yes, I do. Orange State. Lies here. Hmm. Hmm. South of the Warlock's Bay. And deeper in the territory of the Orcs. That's true. Mm. And they're rapidly expanding. Well, if we can quell them closer to their source, it will be yet another important victory. Absolutely. Any villages or towns you come across as well, if, if you can alert us, if we can send men to aid you if you'd like to take them in a pitched battle or even a siege, we can, we can arrange for that. Anything you can do to put a thorn in the orc's side, that's what we ask. And that is why we are here. Excellent. We can also d- perform other operations as needed. If you need us to plant a spy or whatnot, we, we could. Uh, we could even, among allied lords, if you find yourself needing funds, we can gather some coin. We wouldn't want to overuse this privilege, but we could make it happen. We will first try to make do with what we find and are. But if it comes down to it, we will make contact. Excellent. Thank you very much. We'd also ask that if you find any orc leaders, 
You assassinate them, obviously. With pleasure. Well then, is there anything I can do for you? At this time, no. I think we simply wanted to bid farewell, take any uh, requests you may have while we are traveling, and uh, be on our way. I would wish you luck and patience with the harder troops under your control. Yes, we shall need it. The light will shine all the dimmer with them around. But it shines nonetheless. Whenever you need us as well, we're prepared to commit four battalions of troops to any battle you need. They're set aside for you. We can send them as needed. Thank you. And when next we meet, of course there's not much time to discuss now, I may like to discuss with you the light and your influence. There is always time to discuss the light if you wish. I will make it. I thank you. Unfortunately, I do not have quite enough time to discuss as I would like. Our next meeting. Our next, then. Well then, if I may send a representative with you. Uh, you should find him outside here. Knight Cleric Corin of Lansart. A good man. And one I've served with many times. He, uh, he, he fought in both the Vampire War and the Third Rise. Ah, a seasoned veteran. He is. He's not as quick as he once was, but his mind is stronger than ever, and his faith stronger than that. Very good. We will make good use of him. Excellent. Well, you'll find him outside whenever you are ready. If you ever need anything, send a pigeon, and we shall make it happen. And likewise... We look forward to taking care of this problem. Excellent. Then I bid you well. Light be upon your path, and may you never tread in the dark. Stay away. This is quite the coterie you are quieting for your <coughs> Well, the time for fun and games has passed with us. <coughs> he was quite more spirited than the rest of us. Who? Uh, one of our past companions. He was failed in the battle. I look really sad, and I put my hand on my pouch of seeds, and I, <laughs> I take a minute to walk away from the group. <coughs> Compose myself. She is taking it harder than the rest of us. A mutual member of faith. I see. Counting for those who are in mourning. I understand. What is he doing? Don't he your dice? Booster really likes. Yeah, he really likes to roll dice. So you gotta, you gotta watch it. He's a gambling kitty. He is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess uh, we'll pop outside and meet uh, Night Cleric. All right. Watch it. Watch, I'm it, watch still, it. I'm still gone. By the way, you're all, you're gone all the time. Where Just are you? <laughs> Where are you? Steve? I went off to like <coughs> chill by a bonfire or something. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you guys so were talking about being scared of dragons, I, yeah, we can. I think he. Well, you're not a dragon. Well, you know. No more boosting. No more booster. Uh, well, as you head outside, they're waiting for you. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I have a bit of a cold right now. Oh, no. Well, stop. But uh, as you head outside, they're waiting for you. Um, this is the Knight Cleric. And you can see he's he's got an armored uh, horse that he's already uh, he's already kitted out. And he looks to you and he says, Hello. I am told by the Knight Imperator that I am to be joining you. Ah, and we are told the same. It would be a pleasure to have you. Excellent. I am Corin. Corin, I am Esteem. Esteem, a good name. Strong name. Ah, well, thank you. It was given to me by my father. <laughs> I know very little of your people, <coughs> but from what I've heard, they are quite intriguing. <laughs> I hope that I can come meet your standards there. I hope so as well. The one I had met before, I fought alongside long ago. He was good, a good man. But <laughs> that was a different time. It's good to fight alongside one of your people once more. 
Hmm. And to you as well. All right. <laughs> well then, are we all met? Or do you have other business to attend to? I believe we have wrapped up our final businesses here. Then where does our path lead? Well, first to a, uh, a fort that Nolius mentioned, uh, directly to the east, alongside the river. Uh, it is abandoned, by reports, and we are to see if it may be used as a forward stronghold. Yes, the Knight Imperator had mentioned this to me as well. Um, an old fort, but if it still holds, it would make an excellent forward operating base. And we may suspect that Thiakar, the escaped... Uh, former Yogscoth, may be taking up shelter there after his fight with Emir. I'm afraid I know very little of these names, but <laughs> if he's an enemy of ours, then I hope we shall put him down. He is, though I may suggest you leave him to Emir, who will also be uh, traveling with us. Ah, the wild folk sinned with us, uh, one of theirs as well. Indeed, yes. One of their uh, wildest, it seems. Another of the Ogscoths, the one who chased after Thiakar as he assaulted the Hale Fork. An Ogscoth? What is this word? Ah, it is uh, their barrel. Very well. I can understand these terms. Well then, I shall treat him as the lord he is. That's very good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that, that is probably fine. Um, <coughs> <laughs> You will meet him shortly. Okay. Uh, we shall be off to the princess's tent where he is waiting. The princess? A princess of Kenneth or Thrimica? The folk. Ah. The three holding lords of the west. Yes, yes. I had forgotten that many of the the, the barons and little lords out here called themselves kings. <laughs> <laughs> I am sure Agat and Philip have quite a good laugh about that. Perhaps. <laughs> kings they are, but of uh, relatively smaller. Yeah, yeah. Well then... <laughs> If one may be a king of a small area, then I suppose I am a king as well. <laughs> a king of this horse! <laughs> <laughs> In fact, you are, and the horse, you're peasant. Well, I hope I don't work myself too hard. And he pats the horse on the, <laughs> the side of the head and sort of strokes its mane, and he says, She's gotten me through a lot, she has. A benevolent king, I'm sure you are. I hope to be. Well then, all this talk of kings, let us be what we truly are. Crusaders, mm. and let us fight for the Lord. Yes. <laughs> okay. I, I kind of like pull a steam to the <coughs> side for a second as as the as Knight Corin walks away. Are we in point of fact Crusader House? Are we associated that closely with these people? Oh, the humor of the old man. <laughs> it so is, uh, no. We are, as I said before, independent agents. Who are not interested in seeing the orcs take over the ways. I understand. I am under your direct command. I was just trying to make sure that we weren't part of some religious fervor. <laughs> as well as we can avoid it. Yeah. Right. Come then, our enemies await! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Pardon. A simple discussion. <laughs> Oh, I kind of assumed he was just, like, striding uh -huh. ahead. He is, but, but he was calling that back oh, to you, okay. seeing yeah. you're, you're behind. Can I walk by the pony with the pigeons? Yeah. I want to walk by them. Well, say an hello to the pigeons once more. Yes. I love them. Oh, <laughs> oh I love them quite a bit, too. They're good birds, they are, a pigeon. You can train them to do anything you like. You can't do that with a crow or a raven. A pinch, no, a only delicious. a pigeon can do that for you. Well, a man's it. best friend they are. I pet my pouch that holds my little pupper, and I say, I'm teaching my, my doggo here how to do some tricks. Watch this! And I hold out my hand, and I say, give me a shake, little boy, and he puts it, and I... And it's very cute. <laughs> he says, well, that's quite a trick. Quite a trick. Now... Next thing you ought to teach him is to carry a message. Soon enough he'll be flying with the pigeons. Well, I mean, I suppose I could just, like, tie something, like, on his neck, like, on, like, a collar or something, and then, like, tell him to go somewhere. But what if he gets lost? Oh, I'm sure it's, this boy's got a good nose on him. And the doggo barks happily. All right, and he scratches behind the ears, and he says, what's his name? I'm a bad mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you haven't named him yet? No, I, I haven't thought of the right name. Well, perhaps you'll find one. 
Maybe I'll name him Pigeon. That's, <laughs> in my that's brain. funny. That's not out loud. That's in my brain. I'm surprised you haven't gone with Osborne. Oh, that's right. Oh, well, I don't know. Because that feels bad, you know? Now he's a dog. Yeah. Thaddeus, then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He says, uh, she has to well, be nice to the dog. I so. hope you find the right Sorry, name for your dog. What's this guy's name? This guy? Yeah. Pigeon. Harbin. Harbin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Harbin the Pigeon Master. Harbin Jer. <gasps> Harbin, final boss. <laughs> <laughs> he comes with like the ten, pigeons, ten pigeons of hell. <laughs> As he unveils the pigeons, each of them has a ruby. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. Welcome, my lords. <laughs> no! oh it could uh, be anyone. Well, are we orphan? Yes. Righto, righto. Let's be to it. We we nice. head out. Yeah, we, 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 we go. Who are you heading up? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stride up to them and just gather the Come on. Where have you been? I just shake my head. <laughs> oh. Um, he is adapting to the uh, life away from the church. Just now. I see. Um, as you travel, Harbin says, <laughs> "Well, I'm quite looking forward to this. I don't know about you lot. I am looking forward to ringing Fiaker's neck Thank you. when next we see him." Well, that is, um, I hope I don't get on your bad side. I hope you do it either. You're a bit small for a good fate. <laughs> Urban nights. <laughs> uh, onward to adventure, then. <laughs> adventure! <laughs> and uh, you, they do have horses for all of you. Oh, good. I don't need one. Okay. You, you could get tired still. I don't need one. Okay. Then you should. We're not gonna go for a hundred million. Okay, horses get tired too. Yeah. Actually, to be fair, I'm not entirely certain that I know how to ride a horse. Fair enough. You probably wouldn't. Yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. I'm from Norway. We don't have horses. <coughs> right. And then I was over here and I didn't have a horse. I think I might decline the horse. <laughs> nope. Just because it's how the no, last I'm... time riding a horse went no, for. <laughs> Uh, for those who don't remember, oh, yeah. Barthoon majestically rode his horse directly into a barricade into a pit of spikes. It was uh, not a good time. All right. Well, you, you can walk alongside yeah. the uh, alongside the others. Uh, Pigeon man, me and that dude, we're bonding. All right. I'll, 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 actually, I'm not going to get a horse either because i got a ritual spell that will let me do it, so I'm going to do that. Okay. To, to do what? Uh, get a horse? I don't remember what the spell is actually called, but it's... Phantom Seed? Phantom Seed's the one. Yep. yep. There you go. So, so there we go. No, and my wife, Irma, she makes the best turkey pot pie you've ever had. Any realm you've been to, I guarantee it she does. As he just continues telling stories to you. I'm this. Little and I'm socially yeah. awkward, if you guys I'm haven't not, noticed by now. So like, while he's this talking to me, I like, to me. there's moments where I'm like, I really want to not be in this conversation, but I don't know how to say that. So I'm just like, yes! This is good, and he's just talking and talking and talking, and I don't even like. Say and that's it. how I caught him—the biggest fish the town had ever seen. I'm gonna message you, just point down here from where I'm at, and say, "If we were riding at pace, he could not be speaking so loudly." Uh, and <laughs> can, am, am I able to respond, or you do I just hear it? Would that it was so. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna increase my pace <laughs> to come in up to level with uh, with your horse, and I'm just kind of mm-hmm. moving, moving alongside. We're trekking. Good. Yeah, I'm just, right. I'm just hustling right along. All right, so Ooh. just let you out. We're yeah. traveling. Okay, so Onward. we're gonna go straight to the edge of that. Uh, that. So you want to go to the fort that's right straight here? Wide. Yeah, right there. Wide. We're gonna go straight shot past the edge of the hill there. Let's take your, that. Your decker can's a little squeaky. <laughs> the yes. Lord of all. At the end of the day, what pace are we traveling at? Uh, well, we had some walkers, so probably just a normal. Are you kidding? I can go. But you can't run all day, or you're gonna be well, tired. Well, you no, you can go at a fast pace, even with everybody. Well, it just it messes up stealth and perception yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if we're are we trying to just get a move on. Yeah, I mean, we're we're just we're trying to get places. We're not particularly trying this? to hide I'm or not, trying to watch out. For I'm stuff. not opposed to moving Wait, fast pace. I'm ready to make danger? sure I'm still What's our danger under. level? What's the danger? In this danger zone. What's the danger zone? 
So it's actually gone down because what made this area so dangerous was the hill tribes. No. Uh, <laughs> but now they're your allies. So. And also, we wiped out a whole bunch of orcs in the area. Yeah, the danger level here is uh, only two. Oh. But once you pass the hills, then it becomes three. Oh, gotcha. And if we're traveling at a fast pace, does that jump it by one? I can't remember if that's no. a thing that it does. Um, if you're traveling at a fast pace, what happens is you can move three hexes a day. Um, it speedy. gives you passive perception minus four. Stealth is unavailable, and you have disadvantage to any kind of foraging you do. What's your passive perception, wizard man? Uh, what is this fort called? 14. Oh, it's, 15 it's so over here. So, so 11. <laughs> Uh, I get the mother <coughs> might have a better one than I do, maybe. Oh, my passive oh. perception. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm writing. I'm writing information so I don't forget things. Is there a sixteen? Um. Fourteen. Oh, never mind. So I'm so I am the winner. What is it at for? 50. It's ten plus whatever your perception bonus is. Oh, it should be fifteen. There we go. So currently it would be eleven if you were yeah. fast pacing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. From the. From the two uh, non-dark elves. So are we doing fast then? I think so. Okay. So Hustling. At the end of the day, we'll arrive here, uh, provided we don't die. <laughs> we'll be fine. So... And we're not enforced. We're not in river. So for the day... Dragon. Dragon. Oh, look, it's Zonaga Car. Uh, Riding the dragon. Oh, man, that's weird. <laughs> that's not good. I didn't put that in there. He didn't say no to that. I didn't, right. Is that an option now? <laughs> no. Not yet. When did that part in the campaign yet? All right, so, uh, I'm assuming, by the way, you, you took a long rest before yeah. you left. Yeah. All right, right. cool. So, Everyone else said, would be unconscious right now. That's true. Yeah. You set out that morning, and you travel until... About 2 p.m. The sun is high in the sky. You can see that it's it's risen past its uh, it's risen up to its zenith, and it's it's starting to wane now. Um, when D100. <gasps> we're in the tw- we got a thing. 48. You find you find an extra pigeon. Pigeon man grabs it, puts it in the cage. Okay. No pigeons for the pigeon box. What's your passive perception? 11. 11 is the high one? Okay. Yeah. 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 We're going fast, I forgot. Is your passive, passive better? Uh, I bet. Is, are you proficient in perception? I think so. Uh, no. No, no you're no. proficient in anything. No, he's not. Am I not proficient yeah, in Yeah, well, you didn't write down proficiency in anything, but you have athletics, I see. But I none of the other. Why did you yeah. not write down proficiency? Because I'm, I'm bad at making weirdo. characters, and I hadn't. This whenever I made oh, this I, character sheet, it was the first oh, time I made a character. All in you like have two is years. athletics. It's the only thing that you're trained in doing. Well, then how many do I get? Three. Uh, I did class on your plus. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll help you out right now. What is your class, dragon? Yeah. Uh, oh, did you raise? <laughs> <laughs> My class is Dargan. My class. My is race dragon. is Dargan. So, it might be twelve. As you are, uh, <laughs> if, if, as you're riding along, you're you're you've got this pounding headache from, and so Imo says to me, she says, now nah, if you want to make any real sort of life in this world, yeah. you've got to find a trade that you love, and so that's why I quit hunting, and that's why I started caring for the little beasties that I love so much, and that's how I got into the pigeon game. Really, if you think about it, and at, just as you're about to turn back to snap at him to shut his mouth, you hear a sort of roar, a hissing sound, as a oh cougar oh, okay. leaps from the brush Rower. and slams into you. Oh, it's me? Into you. Oh, yikes. All right. I want a horse. Yikes. All right, that's going to be a 21 to hit. Yikes. Uh, that'll do it. Ouch. He got me. For 13... Ooh. Piercing damage. Roll for initiative. There we go. Let's That's initiative. a paladin. Is he a paladin? No, he's a cleric. Oh. Just two from history. It's an innocent persuasion. Roll for initiative. I'm doing it. Initiate. Esteem? <laughs> I have a 15. <laughs> you lie. Insight. Uh, uh, 15? Insight. Right? Yeah, sense. 15. My dex is Zero. Good. At six. 
I was Bartun. so busy Asian. trying to block that dude out. All right, Bartoon, you're up. You see this cougar slam into his steam, and as his steam sort of ducks under it, he's clawed across the back, uh, but it lands on the other side of him. It looks like it's just trying to pick off what looks to be one of the smallest, weakest members of your group. Gotcha. Uh, I'm going to... Yeah, that's rude. Um... Am I using the? Can I use the glaive even if I'm not? Yeah, it'll just be it? a regular glaive. Okay, how much? What's the? What's the damage? D ten. It's the same as a halberd. Okay. Yeah. Um, it, it is literally the exactly the same as a halberd well, in every way. I'll yeah. just be using that, but I'm cool. I'll, I'll attune to it whenever I attune to it. Sounds good. Um, I'm going to run over and uh, as I raise the glaive to strike uh, the just the like the edge of the blade, like the sharp part, okay. part will uh, flare up. With radiant light as I take right. a swing in, because I now have divine strike. Nice. Ah. Nice. Uh, ooh, natural 19 on that attack. All right, you pursue play. your foe's death effect. with great vigor, chopping and slashing along the way. For a solid uh, 16 radiant damage. Woof. Nice. Ooh. All right, you eye. Wow. Does a 14 hit? A 14 does it. Oh, okay. I didn't expect that. Okay. It's just some cougar. It's just a cougar. Yeah. yeah it's, it's not a dangerous, terribly dangerous creature to. Well, oh, I group. got like a. What did I get? Like a six. So I was like, that's not gonna hit. You do so much damage. Sixteen plus sixteen plus fifteen. Six thirty-one. Plus fifteen. Yeah. Thirty-one. That's as how much I damage you do? Uh huh. Slice in with my fire axe and then I punch <laughs> it right in the face. All right. A series of whirling chops whip across your enemy, leaving behind a stained mark. Then, with a twist, you bring the full weight of your fist snapping into your foe, breaking its jaw. Yeah, the cougar's thrown across the ground, and quickly you finish it off. Nice. I'll pick up a steam. Uh, uh, I was on my horse. But, uh, oh, well, I was definitely hunched over. He picks like, up your ah, horse. Did, did the cougar not knock you wet? off of your horse? I just scratched my back. It, he, like, ducked down <coughs> as yeah. it okay. scraped across well, never mind. Uh, Are you well, Master Fella? I'm fine. However, perhaps we would be able to watch for these dangers a little more easily if we did not have the Peter Master telling us his life story. Well, I'm just making conversation. Yes, perhaps That's we will travel the next... While in uh, a peaceful sign. <laughs> well, I, and uh, the princess raises a hand and she says, It's all right. <coughs> you can tell us later. I turn to him and I say, I thought your story was quite interesting. Well, thank you kindly, madam. And once we make camp, you may continue. Well, then I'll wait till we make camp. <laughs> Just wait till you hear the next part. Okay. It's about a sandwich. Oh, <laughs> don't really spoil it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Inspiration. <laughs> 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 oh my god, that was great. That was great. Eagerly waiting for my story time. All right. You continue traveling. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. You're like legitimately invested. I thought you were just too awkward to tell him to stop talking to you. Well, also that. Well, it's not that I wanted to stop talking. It's that I want to be a part of this conversation, but he's a loud mouth and he won't stop talking, so That's I can right. talk with him. Uh, you're a great listener, you know. Uh, ah. So, as you continue <laughs> heading east, that's Booster. Make yeah. trouble. Roll a D100. Oh, cool. Oh. Well, then I shall. He's too busy drinking. He's no too busy no just... I was, I was having a drink. Not that kind of drink. 18. It, it's tea. This is a family-friendly it's, show. It's tea. All right. Yeah, it's, it's just... I you see up on the hills as you continue forward... Uh, you hear the cry of an eagle, and you're looking up on the hills. You can see perched uh, five griffins, two of them quite small, and uh, three of them adults. Uh, the adults, uh, one of them seems to have just returned from hunting and has brought some kind of food back, and you can see that the others are preparing to eat um, as, the, as the little ones yet yeah, for, uh, for more food. Looking up, uh, Corin says, Now there, there is a good omen to see a griffin on the eve of battle. It's a sign of victory. It said Tybalt Martyr's blood once rode one. Atop its back, he slew many of the warlock kings. Um, and at that, Eomer looks over and he says, You know, I heard a different story. <laughs> oh, boy. He says, uh, 
I heard that Yoin, the Red King, rode atop a griffin. <laughs> and he used it in battle against Tibble Martis Blood. Nearly killed him, too. Well, clearly you heard wrong. Perhaps there was uh, griffin jousting. <laughs> just did not make it into the story. Oh. Y- Yumer starts laughing. He says, Yoin was a Yarbeard. <laughs> Yarbeard don't joust. If we point a pointy thing at you, it's to kill you. Oh, no. That's wise. And besides that, he used an axe. Oh, I, he, he didn't say Yoin. He said Rory. Rory. I got the name wrong. I switched him yeah. with the other one. Oh, I was like, oh. Ooh. Yeah, Yoin was the blue... Um, King, I believe. Yo, I, yo and Murtagson. I look to him when he says... No, Murtag Oceanson. Murtag Oceanson. Which one was Yoan? I had no Yoan. idea. I had a Yoan, but I don't know. We had a Yoan before I played one as just some no. cleric. Yeah. It's been a while. I look to him when he says he uses an axe, and I say, he chose a fine weapon. I, Rory Maneater, was one of the greatest warriors that ever lived. In fact, I think it was a hand axe. I think it was, oh. too. Yeah. That's right. I think he used Best a weapon. hand axe and a dagger, if I remember right. Best weapon. Yeah. And that's he, like level one. And then he one. ate people. That's, that's good, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but the griffins aren't coming down looking... No, they're just up awesome. there. <laughs> Keep a little well, eye They are quite a sight. Yeah. yeah. What day camera. is it? As we're traveling along. Today is... Well, I'll do the one for you. This is going to be like an hour. I'm yeah. interested. He's like keeping track of the days. Today is Dusk Brennus the 14th. Oh. Yeah. The 14th of the month, month of Brennus, the day of dusk. So the end of the week. There you go. Yeah. By the uh, calendar of the Green Way. Oh, okay. Of course. All right. Uh, so if, if nothing else will happen here, we can continue on. I think we will. Yeah. Right. Not interested in taking on a family. Is the calendar of the Green Way, like, do they measure by the moon, or do they have another... Way they they do the have, uh, I mean, they're aware of, like, the phases of the moon. Yeah. But they have... Um, they don't three, mark it on the thing. Yeah. They mark a uh, solar year, 364 days in the year, 28 days in each month. So each month is four weeks of seven days. The months are Brennus, Rhinus, uh, in, in order, basically, beginning to end. Brennus, Rhinus, Joff, Arturial, Droy, Amun, uh... Tybi, Ballast, um, Teodrier, uh, Averier, Cecilier, Rendier, and uh, Uruari. Uh, or 13 months, I'm sorry. 13 Casino. months of uh, 28 days each. Then, um, yeah, and each is named after one of the, the nights 13. The days of the week are ordered seven days. Um, dawn, Man's Day, Land's Day, Wind's Day, Lord's Day, Sky's Day, Dusk. So, we keep on keeping on. Uh, after uh, after some time of travel, uh, you can see that the sun is starting to fall. Um, and you hear, uh, well, it will be night soon. We'll be, be continuing through the night or making camp? We should go night night. It's good. My horse is certainly tired. And I can't say I'm far behind. Yeah, I rub my feet. You're sore. <laughs> I didn't use a horse. Right. Alright, so, uh... We'll, I also don't we'll wear shoes, campus. so... No, neither do I. In that case, Actually. roll me a d10. Oh, this will be our discovery oh, die. Lord. Oh! Ooh. Discovery On die! On one or a two, you get something cool. Two! Oh, I got a two! Oh, what do you find? <laughs> oh, just in general? Yeah, yeah just during the, the day. What did you find? This is too much pressure. You can pass it on to someone else if you want. Uh, but I want the treasure. Alright. Well, then what'd you find? Um, can I find, can I find a cool axe? <laughs> you might. Is that what you want? <laughs> I was counting like axe, training thing for the dog, something to do with the black. <laughs> That's just one of those three things. The book! <laughs> yeah, she has, has it. Oh yeah. Oh I do. Yeah, because the witch, uh, he died. Gr- I took it from him. Um, witch had it. Can I actually, can I find like... Actually. Like a harness thingy that I can tie onto my doggo so we can carry messages. All right. So, um, as you uh, travel throughout the day, you actually um, 
he was conversing with Harbin, and he comes up and he says, so I'm not to be speaking much to him, or I've been told, <laughs> but I did think this was worth mentioning. You said you'd like to train your dog a bit more. Good. Well, yeah, I made you this. And he holds up a, uh, a little harness that it, it's got a s- small scroll tube that's crafted of leather oh um, that you could put on just as a collar. Amazing. What a nice little man. Um, I, wish you'd I shut take up. it and I'm touched because, you know, back home I'm kind of off putting. People don't really like to hang out with the person who, like, takes care of the dead, so I don't have very many friends. So I, this is the first present that I've received. Um, and I don't really know how to say thank you, but I just sort of, like, take it and look around a little bit and thank, thank you very much. Well, uh, of course. We are friends after all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, friends. We. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> and then I give him an, aw- go. an awkward, <laughs> awkward quick hug. He says, oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. While, while you're still up there, by, you know where my uh-huh. first thing is, I'll, uh, I'll say down, well, look at how handy he is when he isn't talking. <laughs> this is why it is fine that you are in charge, I think. I should temper my patience. Oh, uh, can everyone make me a survival check for If day? you want collect, uh, perhaps you would. <laughs> so far, however. Survival is not I my rolled, strong suit. I'm so sad. I rolled for another attack and I got a crit, and now I have to get rid of it. <laughs> I'm assuming, by the way, that each of you set off with 10, uh, ten days rations, 10 pounds of food, yeah, of because course. that would be a reasonable amount to carry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, survival. I got a nineteen. Nineteen. I got a sixteen. Sixteen. Cool. Eighteen for me. Eighteen. Oh. Nine. Yeah, you were busy just being grumpy. So, I'm watching uh, Horizon. <laughs> you do uh, overall between you all, you've got forty pounds of food. Uh, you now have thirty nine left. You did have to consume some food today, as you weren't able to find enough to feed everyone. But you, you you've got still plenty left. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's all right. Yeah, so you're able to do that. Eventually, um, you find a small spot sort of nestled at the base of a hill that is as good as any to make camp. Uh, it's before you enter the, the small little forest that's up ahead. So, All right. It's right. a good place to stop. All right. Most of the night passes on eventfully. Um, and in the morning, as you can hear, And so... My wife Irma, she taught me to make these. Real good they are. Why Best the biscuits. Same watch. <laughs> <laughs> Best biscuits I ever did have. You'll enjoy them, I promise. And. <laughs> what me do you want to do? As a dragon swoops in. And that's what. Oh! What he's carried on. 96. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> um. A man uh, steps into camp. Oh. Uh, and he's, he's a large guy. Uh, and he smiles. And he says, Hello. I'll, uh, I'll stand from wherever I'm seated and say, Hello. You know around these parts, I can see ya. Yes, we are uh, passing <laughs> through. Bill, Maggie. Well then... I suppose you don't know yet about the toll. Oh, of course, the toll. Uh, I have heard stories about the toll. Would you perhaps enlighten? I'm going to make a perception check just around our general area to see if I, if if we're surrounded or anything. All right. Because um. <coughs> you guys share a watch, right? Uh, sure. The fourth watch? Is this the fourth watch? Yeah, th- th- whichever watch you're Is, on. I'm on the third and fourth. We'll say fourth. Okay. Yeah. 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 Because the other guy's not making breakfast. Yeah. Twenty. Twenty. Okay. Uh, so you can see around you uh, that it looks like hidden in the trees there are six other guys. Okay. <laughs> there, there's some of them are hidden up on the rocks on the hill, and some of them are hidden in the in the tree line just nearby. Gotcha. Uh, but they're all around you. Yes, uh, I lean in and, and tell you that. Now, 
Um, I had a feeling. <laughs> so uh, I'll say to him, yeah, yes, I, I think I heard about the toll. Would you mind uh, explaining the, the use of the toll? Well, the toll sort of, um, well, it, um, it funds me and my friends. Yes. We, of course, watch over these parts and keep travellers safe as long as they pay the toll. This makes sense, yes. Those who don't pay the toll have no guarantee of safety as they travel through these lines. Yeah, Woken up by this. No, it's just yeah, instead yeah. of just having a bit of a chat. Uh, well, I'll uh, I'll say to him. I didn't use my uh, that's handy. I didn't use my portents last yesterday, um, or I guess this day technically. So I'm long rested. Uh, I'll say to him. Ah, yes, yes, this toll. Uh, in fact, my friends and I are exempt from the toll. You should let us go without pay. I suggest to him. Nobody's exe- Oh, you yeah, 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 suggest <laughs> He rolls a seven. Ah, okay, <laughs> okay. He says, uh, well, it wouldn't be reasonable to be exempt from the draft. <laughs> I suppose uh, we might have worked out a deal if he passed through. I think I remember seeing your face, in fact. I, you're the one who we, we gave a bit of a discount to. Yes, in fact, uh, the last time you allowed us to pass through without paying at all. I don't think that was right. <laughs> no, I remember you coming through here. I'd remember a dark elf. You don't see those often. <laughs> he says, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Huh. Yes, well, I, I apologize, my, my confusion. I've been on many travels. Uh, when was it last that I had passed through here? Ooh, it wasn't long ago. Oh, not long at all. It's that I, guy again. It's, I, I, it's been, uh, oh, less than a moon. Aha, uh -huh, right, yes. And I was travelling the same direction, yes? That's right, just that way. Uh, interesting, come to think of it. Where did you come back round? I believe I may have taken a boat back to the hay for... <coughs> Found my way, travelling the same direction. It is fortuitous that we would cross paths again. Uh, uh, tell me, I... Uh, ah, it's fortuitous for some of us, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, what was the toll that we agreed upon? Well, the toll, of course, depends on your business in these parts. But, as agreed, we'll give you a bit of a discount, no matter your business. So, what's your business heading this way? Well, you I... traders? Uh, no trading here, no, sir, we oh, are... That's too bad. Uh, simply exploring the area. Just exploring this time. Well, yes. Well, bit of a change for you then. Yes, we uh, offloaded all of our goods at the um, at the gate. Oh. And, oh. Uh, and we were interested by the path. Thought we would uh, do more. Don't recall you carrying goods before. Did you lie to me? Before no, I definitely had goods on my in our possession. <laughs> They may have been smaller goods than you were accustomed to. Gems and the like. That's not what you told me. If you had gems, you owe me now. <laughs> All I had, gems, uh, at this time, we do not. Well, well. <laughs> so you tried to cheat me. <laughs> well, I, I don't remember you asking if I had gems before. I asked you what you were doing and you said you were hunting. For gems, yes. I found some, in fact, and then we went to the What's your reference? That's still not the thing I can do. What was your other port? It was a 17. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, so it'll be 17. <laughs> it's the end of the day. All right, all right. You've had to burn both of your portents at the start <laughs> of the day. <laughs> well, this well, is the end, the end of the day. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, this yeah. is pre dawn, so. It... Oh, right. Yeah, it hasn't reset. He'll get it back. Fine then, fine then. Fortunately, that does leave us enough gold to uh, pay for your toll, as we agreed before. Alright. Well, if you have no goods that you're bringing on, and you're not here to trade, then I suppose that we would settle Six the toll thousand gold. for as low as, let's say, 50 gold and, and three silver pieces. What? That's very specific. <laughs> Three silver pieces, two copper, and a bit of gum. <laughs> <laughs> three silver pieces. And one of those pigeons. 
<laughs> the yeah, one named like, Teddy. I like that one. That is rather higher than my previous toll as a hunter. Oh, no, that's lower, that's for sure. <laughs> Last time you paid us a hundred gold. Just take the 50, okay? Just pay. Or, or, <laughs> just, please. Or we can just kill You've them. You've won the encounter. There are only seven of them. You've won the There's encounter. There's just seven of them. Just pay 50 gold. How much gold do we have? I mean, oh I've got a lot to make it work. He just stick. likes to have that gold for a couple yeah, of spells. I, yeah, I like to... I don't care about your spells. Pay I'm, I'm, not, I'm not in favor of... You'll be caring about him later. <laughs> yeah. Give him 50 gold. Yeah. I, I give him 50 gold. Oh. You're a, oh, and you're up. You forget my three silver. And why? Okay. <laughs> I give him an extra gold. That'll do. What? That's Although, three silver. And he hands it back to you and says, I'd like it in silver. Why? <laughs> Ask why. Ask why. I pull out three silver Say and okay, give him three silver. Why? Thank you. Why? <laughs> why? Oh, thank you. That's my business. Okay, All right. He's an honest man living an honest living. That's right. Just an honest guardian of travelers in these parts. Okay, whatever. You weirdo. Well then, good day to you. He heads uh, heads back into the woods, and you can see several other people peel off to follow him as he leaves. Uh, that could have gone better. <laughs> Is breakfast ready? <laughs> I think it's about ready, yeah. I was distracted a bit, so one of the biscuits is but, but I'll take that one for myself. Sounds like it. Um, Anarol comes out, and she says, oh, I love these. Takes one of the biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> takes a bite of these. Mm. Uh, Ian Mer- scotch Ian Mer- Mer- grabs three of them. <laughs> Still is eating. That is too much for the beginning of the day. <laughs> I would like to eat. And soon the rest of the camp is away. Oh, hello, I'm awake. Wow, that's a couple of things. Wow. 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 That's not going to be super useful. That's fine. Do you need to pass? Do you need to pass? Not really, though. Um... Roll an investigation check, you're like, you got it. Right. I'm not ready yet. Just continue going at fast pace still? Yeah. I think so, yep. Wah. We want to shake these uh Alright, so, campers. do we want to more quickly go we straight through the woods, these, these small little woods here, or do we want to go around the woods? I think we want to go through the woods. Okay. Are the woods dangerous? They're more dangerous. More dangerous, dangerous. Here's a question. Dangerous. Just for curiosity's sake, if we fought those guys, how scary were they? Uh, well, let's let's find out. Just for curiosity's sake. They would have killed could, all of us, and taken. everyone would have a new character. We could have taken it. It would have been great. I just got it. Like, I'm cool with it. I'll make a new guy. <coughs> it's all good. All of my characters inevitably become like a ranger, and I really don't want that to be the case. My longbow is so good. <laughs> yeah, and I probably would have... Uh, if if we had gone to battle, had a way to wake you all up. <laughs> that yeah. that might have been a hard one. Yeah, it yeah. might have been a pretty hard one. They were at a distance with likely ranged weapons. I have a ranged weapon, so does yeah. she. And six. you are a ranged weapon. <laughs> so is he. They actually weren't that far away. They're pretty close to you. Oh, yeah. they were just around the camp. Yeah. All right, so we're going to be straight to the woods, arrows. heading into the woods. All right. Wow. D one hundred. <laughs> We're busy traveling. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. It's forty. All right. So I know. I know. I'm just being pretentious. Pedantic. Uh, yeah, that too. Yeah, silly. <laughs> uh, you see the differences. <laughs> Reroll that one. Oh. <laughs> I don't want that one right now. That, was that the bad guy? No, it was just really similar to the last encounter. Uh, oh, okay, um, well... Yeah. Eleven. Ah! That's fine. Okay. Um, <laughs> Is this one funny? Huh? No, uh, just, it's just silly to me. Uh, so, <laughs> as you, uh, as you head into the pill. woods, you can hear the rooting of, uh, of boars, and you recognize it as, it just from the, the sound, that it's giant boars, oh, like good. the ones that you hunted before. Emia, would you like to do the honors? I could see if I could get some hunting done. We should do that, because last time we didn't have I would like to join you, if that would be acceptable. If you like. These creatures can be dangerous, but it would save us having to forage for the day. 
So can I. And I'm, I'll, I'll join in. Do some hunting. Nice. All right. Well, let's see what you can do, little fella. All right. Cool. So just the two of you. No, I'll oh. help. I mean, I wasn't going to sit back and do nothing. <laughs> I'm okay with sitting back and do nothing. I'm <laughs> also okay with sitting back. All right, cool. So the three of you then. Okay, but I'll use my long bow. <laughs> I'm so upset with my bow. Why? Because you're becoming a ranger. I'm becoming a ranger. <laughs> you're not even a ranger. You don't have Hunter's Mark. No, but she's using a ranged weapon, and she's got her dog. She, she just likes rangers. I do. I do. My dog <coughs> doesn't know how to attack yet. He's not a full... He's not a big boy yet. No, he's a little, little, little fella. He's a good boy, but he's not a big boy. All right. If everybody would set out one... Um, Tile. I got our trees. Not that tile. I'll get our tree quota. Uh, well, we're in we a appear to like all. I've got trees also. The big one. Okay. Oh my god. A grant? Hey, y'all put your tiles under your. Uh, Are yeah, we just gonna do trees? Boxes. Should we just do trees? Just Let's just line. do trees. Yeah, let me get my thing out of the way. So many trees. Oh, here, we're I'll in watch a forest. Mine. Yeah. Do, 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 do. You wanna grab some trees? Sure. You think you wanted a massive darkness box? Yeah, behind the main box, there's a brown one. That's the one I want. I eat. I eat. Oh my goodness. So, roll me. Uh, he says, uh, he says, let's see what you can do. I haven't seen you, boys. I've seen the rest of them. Go ahead. Drag them down. All right. Oh. So that be a survival check that he's survival, after? Survival, yeah. All right, that is a 20. Nice. All right. Oh, no. E- yeah, a 21, actually. All right. Oh, I got a crit on my attack. You, oh, oh. you quickly identify um, the rooting of these boars on one of the trees nearby, and you can see that they've, they've torn up some fungus and some mushrooms and things, and they seem to have headed off a little bit to the south. All right. All right. Roll me another survival check. Uh, 14 on that one. 14? Okay. Uh, so, uh, heading off uh, a bit to the south, following them, you find a, another patch of mushrooms that's been rooted up. You're pretty sure they're within shouting distance now. It'd be time to get quiet. All right. If you were, uh, if you were trying to sneak up on them. Then we'll get quiet. <clears throat> All right, cool. So go ahead and roll for initiative so that, uh, that I can see what happens. <laughs> now we're talking. You I? Ten. And Cyril. Twenty-two. All right. It's up there. I was ready to go. I have plus five to initiative. You know, it's pretty good. So that never happens to me. I never get to be the guy with the now plus five roll to stealth checks. Okay. <laughs> Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Uh, Stealthy dude, and I've got my attack roll rolled and have done for a little while because I was waiting. 13? Like, attack roll <laughs> with ranged weapon. Yeah. Roll roll. All right, even Eomer, funny one. massive as he is, shows some skill with uh, with being able to crouch down and uh, and sneak about. He's a hunter. And you can see a head in a, in a lighter bit of trees. Oh, I'm rolling the wrong things. You can see that there are some giant boars indeed. Where are we entering from? Rooting about. You'll be entering from over there. Should be rolling D8, right? as he steps forward, leans sort of down to the ground. Okay. And he places a hand on the ground. He says, Don't get too scared. Ah! Ah! And he shifts into his bear form, but it does seem to cause him some pain to do Ooh, so. Mm-hmm. And then he looks down and he says, Let's hunt. Are we ready? Aye. And I'm going to take aim with my crossbow and take a shot. Then after you. And he goes barreling <laughs> in. Uh, so, Cyril, you had the initiative. Uh-huh. And you have a surprise round. Oh, cool. Well, I've got a... Well, here, I guess if it's a surprise round, let's see if I crit. Because I've got a 20 to hit. Yeah, it's 20 to hit. For All right. 20 damage with my crossbow because I have the... All right, uh, on which one? Overcrank. All right, so now that one, you did still hit. But that one, by the way, does have will have half cover. Okay. It's the closest one, so I figured it's the one he's going for. 20 damage, you said? Uh, twenty. In fact, you know what? Since he's going for that one, let's hit this one. All right, cool. Uh, so 20 damage on that one. Okay. Oh, we're over here. Uh, and then I'm just going to drop the crossbow to let it kind of dangle by my side, draw my uh, weapon, and then dart forward. 
uh, my full movement, which is 45 feet. Uh, oh, there we go. So seven. 45 is 7? Uh, no, nine. 9. Yeah. Alright, so, and you're, which one are you going for? Uh, this one over here. Because I, I don't want to get in. Then you'll Eimer's go that way. way. Eimer goes running up here. Yeah, I figured he might. Charges that one and uh, raises a big massive paw to strike. But that's all he can do this turn. You want? I got a crit. Um, <coughs> I'm going to go over here. Sort of hide behind okay. the tree. But before I hide behind the tree, I'm going to shoot at the one in the back. All right. So we're each taking a different one. Once huh? loose, the missile bolts towards your target and strikes home true. 29 damage total. Nice. Whoa. Oh, because you hit and hit and then crit once? Yeah. Yeah, very nice. good. All right. 20 is just my maximum. That's then that guy. puts us at Cyril. Right, well, I'm going to move forward again. Yeah, and I, he I, is within striking yeah. distance. I'm coming. And so dart forward and uh, swing in twice. He's a big old, big old boar fella. Uh, and so, just gonna slice down at his legs and then up across to see if I can get him in right. the throat. Uh, mm, uh, one is a 15. Does that hit? 15 will hit. Alright, the other one's way better. So, Alright. You lace your moves with sly deception before hitting okay. your mark. Six. And, oh, not that. Because I can reroll. Yeah, six and five, 11, 21 damage total. 21 on that one, nice. All right, that one, as you slice upward into it, you can see that it starts kind of limping. Uh, it, it's turning. Uh, it, at first, it looks like it's going to try to get away, but it can see you start to match each position. Uh, and it grounds itself and gets ready to strike. I'm going to mark it with my fighter's mark and then set myself with a right. varying stance. All right. And I'll, I'll scoot around it just because that's fun. The boars... This one, seeing its ally in trouble, uh, as, as this one is going to kind of move a little bit out of the way. Oh, well, how unfortunate for it. Uh, I'm going to hit it. All right, it starts circling you, not expecting your yeah, strike. Yeah, I, I got it, and then, you know, I get two of those, because that's, uh, that's the strike pattern. Uh, I hit it twice. All right, uh, with a cunning underhanded swing. Yep, you so catch that's... your opponent completely off guard, ripping through it, killing the board instantly. Yeah. 13 damage. As it as it tries to move to the side, I just slam my sword into its flank, pull it out, and then slice up into the side of its neck. All right. Cleaving into an artery. This one then comes barreling towards you. Um, I didn't have a chance to mark that one. So. A 17 to hit? Uh, no, sir. Not with my parrying stance right. up. Oh. Nice. And that puts us... Just in. dive nimbly out of the way. Second Doesn't the parrying one. stance take a uh, bonus action action? Reaction. Reaction, gotcha. Yeah, and I don't need it. Yeah. it right, okay, cool. Then that puts us at our other one over there, which is attacking Eomer. <laughs> All right, as it tears its tusks upwards towards Eomer, Eomer <laughs> just grabs onto one of the tusks with a massive paw. And... Okay. Um... As he's holding one tusk, he flings it upwards by the tusk and swings it around, slamming it into the ground, where it rolls across the snow as it hits with a thud. Um, you can see it sort of struggling to stand back up. You I? I hit uh, the one that uh, Greg is currently fighting right. with more than 20 on both of them Okay. Uh, for 16 total damage. All right. You're able to capitalize on a fleeting opportunity and deftly send your missile to strike your unsuspecting foe. And... I had another crit. He drops. Yeah. You crit again? I did. Nice. Maniac. And I rolled an eight, so it's Zero. max damage. Uh, he currently is just a little over 30 feet away, about 35 yeah, feet. Easy. Uh, I'm going to dart in. I've got him both times, and I rolled max damage. So that is, that is 26 total damage across the course of two uh, swings. So as as Eomer's just got it by the face, then I just dart underneath him and just open its uh, abdominal. Yeah, with, with, with a pivot as you evade the swinging boar overhead, <gasps> it lands to the ground and you slice straight into its abdomen. Um, and as the, the beast falls, Eomer walks over, sort of breathing heavily. He says, oh, Looks like you can hunt. I do my best. <sighs> And he, he, he shifts back, but again, it looks even more painful than the last time. 
And he as as he shifts back, he he lands supporting himself with uh, with one arm on his knees, and looks up and he says, "I suppose that's that's not as easy as it once was." And he takes out uh, some of the belladonna herb, and he starts chewing on it, and swallows. And he says, uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, that. I didn't expect that. You are forgiven, of course. I just don't much like the smell of the herb. I don't blame you. It's poisonous, you know. What? I know. <laughs> the belladonna. It's poisonous. Oh, actually, I did know that. There you go. <laughs> the Belladonna is my favorite flower. I, mm-hmm. it's, uh, there we go. So we, we get to meet. All yeah. Right. So you have no need to forge today. Ha! Yes. I took, I took no damage. <laughs> okay. Alright. Um, these trees are so cool. Uh, side note. Um, let's go. Alright, well, continuing on the rest of the day, uh, you make it to the edge of these woods, and before you, uh, you exit the woods, um, Anarol says, it might be best this time to rest within the woods. This is dangerous territory we're about to cross into. Perhaps we're safer here. Alright, good night. Very well. Mm. Then we shall. I go and start gathering, uh, like, in the woods. Okay, cool. We're here. This, um, is, this is where we live. You rolled that encounter? Mm. Roll d10. D10? Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Discovery. Six! Alright, you didn't find anything today. That's okay. I killed two boars there. Don't forget about Tyler's spam treasure chest. Yeah, but that doesn't have to happen today. I know, I'm just... Yeah, no, I know about that. Point it out. Yeah. Uh, so. Cool. You may count. I'm hiding in these trees. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. About <laughs> midnight. Cool. Which will be the second watch. Second watch. D100. I was on first watch, is that right? Uh, okay, I honestly don't know. Was ever on watch. Well, yeah, but what what watch was that, Eason? Uh, I think you're on third watch. Oh, I rolled two okay. two one hundreds. So let's go with fifty eight. So that's a one hundred. No, 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 no. I meant then? like I rolled two D one hundreds, not oh. a D one hundred. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so it's a D eight. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys one. Uh, as I'm on this it watch though, I noticed that my watch buddy is no longer with us, and it makes me sad. What? Oz used to do watches with me. Oh, uh, yeah. That's true. Sad. Sad day. 58 was what I got. 58? <laughs> 58 of sadness. Yeah, 58 of sadness. 58 tears of sadness. Oh, now roll a d4. d4? This does not sound good. I'm going to use green. Four in- beholders. <laughs> Each appear, bite green. themselves in the face, and die. Okay. It's very confusing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you I can hear footsteps. It's not, not far off. It seems like the the footsteps are coming from uh, from about hundred yards away, uh, outside the uh, the edge of the tree line, and you can hear voices with them. What can my elf eyes make out? <laughs> well, uh, it is dark, but you have dark vision. So roll me a perception check. I gotta look with my elven eyes. Um, look with your elven look eyes. with your elven eyes. Sixteen. Okay. You can see um, a small party of figures. It looks like looks like about four or five total figures that That's seem to be lot. making camp just outside the tree line. That's bad, right? Am I the only one on this watch, by the way? Is there no one else with me? That was a bad idea. Who let that happen? Um, I'm going to go wake up the person who I trust most. And that's going to be Harborn. Harbin? Harbin. Well, hello. Shh, shh. Be quiet. Yes. There are some people, and I didn't know what to do about it. Well, I thought, I, I, I'm mainly just here for the pigeons. 
Yeah, well, but I thought you might be able to help me think of a strategy. All right. Well, what sort of people are they? I don't know. They're wearing cloaks and they're making camp. They're, they're not necessarily wearing cloaks. I don't know. You just saw the figures. They're, they're, they're chanting shadow. ominously. That's they're what, all stained that's with she blood. Said. She just decided right. they're in cloaks. So, uh, are they friendly? Well, maybe we should find that out. Well, what if they're it's bad well, and they guy. attack us? I mean, I then I suppose like we'll know they're not friendly. Yeah. <laughs> we could sneak up to the edge of their camp and uh, I'm good at that we, we could see what they're talking about I'm pretty good at that that's a good plan alright I pat him on the head well let's go you no, pat you, him on the head you should stay here you're so oh. weird right, yeah. <laughs> that's the whole uh, by the way he, he's got like the uh, the Gibbs beard oh yeah. yes and, and he's wearing a nightcap oh, oh God. amazing <laughs> Um, I tell him, uh, I tell him, you should wait here. He's someone's Call of Cthulhu hear, character. If you hear, if you hear a pigeon call, that is me saying I need help. You should wake everyone else up right. and come help me. Well, I'll make sure I listen. Okay. Also, right. just so you know what my pigeon call sounds like, I do a pigeon call. How's it sound? I don't know if I can do it. It's very dry, though. You have like a whole. Yep. Oh, oh. There you go. That one was good. It's just right there. Uh, the Look, I pigeon. hear a pigeon call. I will send everybody after you. Okay. You better not. You better not do that. Uh, and I'm going to go as. <laughs> sticky snack. Oh, wow. Yo, I rolled real good. I got a 10. Uh, okay. You are so snippety. Man. Well, um, that's can you snap it in? That's fine. You start seeing the board. Yeah. Let's see what happens. My green dice did not, did not help me out. The rest of us are asleep. You didn't, you didn't do a well, thing. Well, I don't really. know about the pigeon yet. I thought I was snacking. Right, but like, you had the opportunity to go. Hey, allies, there might be danger. He's grumpy. Yeah, I probably wouldn't be into it. I made a joke about them just being like another random, well balanced adventuring party. Yeah. And I was like, you stumble across a fighter, a monk, a white plate, a white mage, and a black mage. And then I was like, wait, that's literally that's us. the four of us this second. Darn. We're, we're a good party. Yeah. No, it's, it's us, but doppelgangers. Oh, dark it's the us. Badass. Ooh, All right. bad us. Watch your language. It's a children's show. Bad is, is not allowed. <laughs> Badass. Oh, I see. Yeah. Alright, so as you move forward, uh um, so you good. approach, roll me a perception check. Uh, I'm not gonna we'll use my green dice. Right, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, our monk is the best. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> Alright. What language is this? I got a fifteen for that. No, nah, this one's active. Um <laughs> Common, Elvish, <coughs> Dwarvish, and the Old Speech. Okay. You hear voices speaking up ahead. Rufkala, Urthak, Dumbananak. That sounds orcish that's to me. Orcish. <laughs> that is orcish. I make pigeon as, noises! As you move closer... No, I'm... To listen, le- well, hold on. This, oh is, this is the result of your self-check. Oh, no. As you move closer to get a better <laughs> listen... Pigeon noises! Pigeon noises! Pigeon noises! Uh, immediately, <laughs> that pigeon just two stepped on the branch. <laughs> turn to look back your direction. I hide. Roll us <laughs> I, I, I hide. I hide. I hide. I make pigeon noises. How is that gonna work? <laughs> oh my god! That was actually good. Uh, four, uh, fourteen plus eight. Twenty-two. 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 The Thanks two of them start moving your way, and one of them says. Tuchanka Fanta. It's just a pigeon. It must have been a One points down, but okay. he's looking about a yard to the right of where you are. Mm-hmm. Okay, That's good. where he's pointing. I'm not going to make noises. The other starts moving that way, slowly. I take no noises. So you didn't make pigeon noises? I don't want to if I passed. Well, you don't know. <laughs> I mean, now, now I guess you would as soon as you ducked. But were you making them as you ducked, or did you wait and That is and totally what you said. That's true. <laughs> so, you said, you said as I hide, I'm going back in the camp. Noises. Uh, you're awoken. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Dragon, sir. <laughs> Mr. Dragon. Uh, Mr. Dragon is I my father. I believe the young lady is in a, a 
bit of a pickle, as it were. How do you know? She's making pigeons. I stride out, and I don't wake anybody else up. I just, I just leave. But I'll take care of the others. I, just, <laughs> I leave, uh, and you I could hear great pull out the glaive. Things. And I'm just, I'm not trying to be stealthy. All right. I'm not anything. I just, <laughs> just stride over. All right. So, um, you got your AC go ahead and, and set up a new encounter uh, <laughs> while I talk about this. So, he then comes to me. Oh, sir. Yeah. Alright, yes. yes. The lady and the dragon are going off on a, on a bit of a wee adventure, and there's some pigeon a noises, and that adventure. means that there's a bad thing happening. I will defer to your expertise in the matter of pigeon <laughs> dangers. <laughs> uh, well, I don't want to miss out on an adventure, I so thank you for letting me know. I'm going to stand up. I sleep in my armor because it's just leather. Uh, and I'm just <laughs> get my sword. All right. I just get over that way. Mid trance. You, you kind of <laughs> notice some movement in front of you. You see, are you awake already? Immediately, I, uh, I start, uh, I'll say this with more than just my voice behind me. All right. Leave me. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and he goes away. <laughs> you're so scary when you're grumpy. All right, it's I'll like Colby. i for this encounter. <laughs> yep. Uh, can we add yeah, fine, a couple probably. more things to yeah. it? Yeah. You guys pitch in. You guys need them. Oh, excuse right. me. Everybody put at least one in. Yeah. I did. Uh, I like just something <coughs> in the woods. Right? It's, a, it's a bit of a river going well, off that way. Make it the way no that it doesn't snow. make no sense. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, it just comes out of the snow. <laughs> make it the way where it doesn't make no I, sense. <laughs> it's a big tree. See, I, you're right here. I'd actually like to add... One here and one over here. Okay, uh, I'll grab where one. Where are the orcs? We can talk. Uh, I'm about to. Oh, well, I have ruins. I don't really want to get rid of those. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to use my cool snow cave, so I'm not going to use you that. Have, you want to put some trees? I got, I got trees, yo. Yeah. Trees. trees! Look at my cool snow cave with, like, blood and stuff. And we'll move. Oh. On the other side, it's... it's this one over here. Inside of the snow cave. Inside, inside of the snow That'll cave. That'll work, yeah. Yeah. All right. And you can hold on to your... River there. No, that, that can see where it was, yeah. Oh, okay. So, um, if you're not UI, but you're coming, you're at the very edge over there. I'm hiding, though. Let me be in the you're, tree. So you're in the tree? At the I very want, edge over there. Not course. UI. But I want to... Not UI, Before we're... Going. Are we, like, literally just in an encounter already at the second? We're, I'm about to explain. Okay. Yeah. Because I wanted to do a thing. What did you want to do? I want to stride over and, and see that these are orcs and make an intimidation check. No. Well, um... Roll me a perception check as you approach. Is this you? You can't see him. No, that's this uh, is this is me. Yeah, oh yeah, you don't have dark vision. Well, you can no. hear me making pigeon noises. He's over here. Right, but you know I'm doing their orbs <laughs> from a distance here. <laughs> My perception is really good. Um, how does a twenty-four treat you? All right, roll at a disadvantage though because you can't see. You can't see. Can I have a cookie? I crit the other one. Oh, so. all right. Wow. So. Uh, you Dude. can hear orcish voices up ahead, but you don't even see the figures at all. Okay. Um, that's meant to change. <laughs> Meanwhile... Cast light on your weapon. No. Let's roll for initiative. No, you got it better? Uh, I'm going to stride forward. Okay. I'm going to pull out the glaive with... I, I don't know what the story or the significance is, but I at least know that it has, like, orcish runes and stuff on it. Um... I'm gonna assume that these guys at least speak. That zero? Some of these at least speak common. Uh, I got a twenty, even a soft twenty, I should say. You're I right am going to oh for initiative. Sorry. Roll Ooh. that deep. Ah. My goodness. That's, I have a one initiative. Oh, um, you are Darthur. But Darthur, Darthur. I'm going to stride forward, and I am going to. I'm just gonna use oh my god, why are you odd? I'm going to um <laughs> to get sixteen and sixteen. Use my racial dragon breath. Okay. To do I I hear where you are. Oh right? yeah, extra. <laughs> oh my goodness. No. Well I mean you hear pigeon noises. Is and there do you assume that's at me? least some like stuff in the underbrush and stuff that would catch fire? Possibly. I'm going to light a uh like a line. Of fire in front of you, like between you and the panic, orcs. panic pigeon noise. Um, now, you won't be able to get there just yet. You can't get further than you are currently. All right, I'll do that on my turn then. All right, cool. Well, then in that case, UI. 
Hello. As where are you? Where'd you go? She's I'm, hiding I'm in a tree. Oh, you're in this tree. I'm expert this hider. This guy has come up now to here. Ooh. What do you want to do? I shut up. All right. I'm hiding you. you Zero. Right. Uh, you have dark vision. So I do. Make perception check. I shall. Uh, eight zero nineteen. <laughs> Bless you. Do you want those? Thank you. Uh, nineteen. Nineteen. All right. You can see up ahead. Some shadowy figures moving. From here, you can tell that they are orcs. It's good enough for me. I was told we're hunting orcs. Uh, I'm going to move my foot movement. Which is? Uh, 45 feet. I so nine, nine inches. There. That'll get me there. I think so. All right, well, I'd like to yeah. move. Oh, nailed it. I Whoa, know what nine inches looks like. Uh, and, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> and I'm going to... Yeah, I'm just going to shoot somebody with my crossbow. Uh, so that that first orc there, I just draw my crossbow, load it, crank the uh, the cord a little further back with the yeah. goat's foot, I guess, and then just let loose nah, with a seventeen. Seventeen will hit. Oh, cool! For twenty damage, All right. I rolled max. Uh, so that's a heck of a bolt. Right. You hit him with a bolt, and he staggers back and he shouts back something in orcish. Does anyone in this group speak orcish? Uh, <laughs> no. No. Alright, he shot something in Orcish. What? Uh, I shot something I, in Norway. I probably would in speak Orcish, now that I think of it. It's possible. I was with yeah. the Orc army. Yeah. It's very possible. I, probably. If you want to replace a different language with Orcish, that's fine. That's, I don't know. What, do you even have I your think languages? I, I think I just speak common and draconic. So, can oh. I just You would have gotten one for your background, so you can make it Orcish. I'll just make yeah. it Orcish. Because I'm a soldier, <coughs> that would make sense yeah. to gain Orcish. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. So what do they what do they say? All right, so you can hear him <laughs> shouting back problem. to the others in Orcish. Somebody's up here. They're shooting. Not what? Me. Uh, Not also, do I now then? Can I read what's on the axe? Do I at least know like the, the, have the a word? Yeah, yeah, the one word. I'll I'll tell it to you later. I I forget it off the top of my head. I have it written down, so I can look in a sec. Is it the name of the axe? It's the name of something. It's clearly a name. I'm. I'm I want to use it. In right Norway, I shot back that they are all cat footed slots. Alright, we'll maybe I'll Okay. Alright. That puts us at the orcs. Knowing oh that there is a bad. Um, yeah, okay. He's going to move forward to there. And as he does so. <laughs> oh. Yeah. As he does so, uh, he witch. only really sees you. Yep. So looking to you, roll me, I believe it's a con save. Con save. Yeah. Uh, crit, so 25. All right. You're set. You're set. Haley, could you hand me that tissue? I can't reach. What happened? You, feel, I... um, you feel your eyes weighing heavily um, as though they're being just pulled shut by some force. <clears throat> but you, you force your way through it. <clears throat> No sleep no. for you. I think that might have just been blindness. No, I think that might have been what he was going for. Two more come running up to you. Each of them brandishing spiked oh clubs. The first crashes in his club for 17 to hit. That'll do. All right. And that's going to deal... Uh, a l- sorry. Six bludgeoning damage mm. and two piercing damage. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he hammers his shot home, sending tremors <clears throat> through your body. The second follows in kind with only a nine to hit. Him. Insufficient. So he will miss. And that puts us at the two of them who are going to... He's going to move up and just sort of take a position right in front of that guy. And he's pretty good where he is. Again, you're the only one they can see. Seems fine to me. Uh, so the two of them... Uh, he you can see is spending some time aiming uh-huh. his crossbow while the other starts moving forward and the one that did not spend time aiming you got a crit and a 14 bummer crit hits all right so a crossbow bolt comes searing towards you quivering in flight eagerly anticipating <laughs> the violent conclusion of the mission on which it's been sent dealing 18 damage Yowch. Um, the second Uh, missed one, but its second one spears a neat wound into your side, dealing 
five piercing damage. Mm -hmm. And that puts us at Barthoon. So what's that name? That name is... So how much movement is 30 feet? Six inches. You can make it there, no problem. Mm -hmm. You'll probably make it to there. I want to move it like right here. Yeah. Right between the trees. The name is Sagthorak. Sagthorak? I'm going to write that down. S A G dash T H O R A K. Oh, I can take a picture of this battle. <laughs> so, one of the depictions is of the guy burning. Yeah. Uh, with, like, in front of the fire. Yeah. I'm going to stride forward, and as I stride, I'm going to breathe fire <coughs> onto the ground that I walk. All right. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to hold this glaive in the exact same um, pose that's okay. in, in, in the thing and say, uh, in Orcish, I care not what your business is here, but you will leave these woods now in the name of Sagthorak. All right. Roll me a deset or a intimidation check at advantage. I crit. Whoa. Oh. Oh. All right, what's the total, though? Uh, 26. Oh. I'm pretty good. All right. Um, it's pretty the, the one holding his staff sort of steps back one step and looks to the others, and he holds down his staff, uh, clearly afraid of you, yep. but not afraid enough to flee. They all now currently have the frightened condition <laughs> uh, as you as the source of the fear. Nice. Cool. Wow. That's handy. Alright. Alright, you lie. <gasps> I don't want my friend to die. So I come out of snack <laughs> and I attack this guy. Alright. And I got a 24 on all of them. Nice. 24 on all of them? Uh, well, I got three 16s. Alright. In a row. Uh, oh. And yeah, it, so my math was off. It does one in 33 eight, damage. Total? Total. All right. Nice. Is it the same one he hit or a different one? Uh, different one? Different one? Okay. No, wait. Which one did you hit? This one came in second. So mm -hmm. you hit that guy? I did hit that 33 guy. 33 damage? Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Um, your fierce hit grates across the enemy. Yeah, it leaving does. Leaving lacerated wounds behind. That's right. All right. Cyril. All right. Fear me. Uh, swinging in twice on this... Uh, <coughs> Well, well, we'll hit the one that she Remember just to be hit. Pre -rolled as well. I'd like to. What's up? Remember to be pre-rolled as well. Oh, that's right. I'm oh, so sorry. Oh no! Uh, I'm gonna capitalize on her uh, her swing. So the first hit is a is a real good. It's nat 17. All right. Four. I'm so sorry. I should have had this already rerolled. Six. Eleven damage on that guy. All right. Is he still up? The same one that she hit. Uh huh. He is still up. All right. I'm gonna hit him again. Uh, that's cocked. Let's try again. Uh, mm, no. Fourteen. Fourteen. I imagine that does not do it. Fourteen will not yeah. do it. That's However, okay. with your first strike, as the enemy attacks with hesitation, your counterattack whips across his exposed limb. I'm going to go ahead and action surge. All right. Uh, so swinging in twice more. Uh, there we go. So that is a 17 and then a much more than that. All right. So the first one is, cool, 7, 12 damage. All right. And is he second? still up? He is. All right. Then the next one is another 12 damage. All right, cool. After slicing into his limb, you repost effortlessly, parrying and striking a fluid motion that cuts your enemy down right where he stands. Yep, yep, yep. Get rid of him. That one. Yep. I'm going to have marked him after that first hit, which does, in fact, mark his body. All right. Because of the blinding flurry. Then... And then I'm going to set myself to receive another blow or an arrow with my sword now in hand, ready to go. All right. They're probably really good at con saves. They're probably pretty good at concepts. This guy uh, raises his staff and gestures towards you, and you can see black fumes erupting from his staff coming towards all three of you. Roll me charisma saves. Oh, oh no. All of us? <laughs> no. I don't like a charisma, charisma save. I'm not charisma. great at those. Oh, no. 14. I got a well, this six. Could be worse. It's probably fine. Six. It's probably Bane. 16 for me. 16? The two of you are Bane. Yep. What is Bane? You roll a d4 and subtract that from your tax exam. Yeah, it's anti-bless. Uh, Alright, so uh, yeah, you could bless them to basically get rid of it. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Alright, so the uh, light infantry soldier who's directly in front of you mm -hmm. uh, swings in with his spiked club uh, for only 15 minutes. No, sir. Alright. Ping. <laughs> no, sir. 
The crossbowmen both have disadvantage, but both are going to fire at you since they are uh, frightened of you gotcha. as you're approaching them now. Uh, neither of them is going to move. All right, so... 19 hit you? Yes. The wow. first one hits you twice as two missiles Whoa. spear into you. Oh my you. goodness. Sorry, that was me. The second one hits you once and crits you once. Wow. At disadvantage? This is disadvantage. They have disadvantage. You're right. They have disadvantage. I forgot about that. I was about to say. So let's see if that still holds up. Well, the crit still happens. One doesn't hit at all. Uh, one still hits and one still hits. Okay, so they all of them but one hit. One so that guy delivered. double and crit. Double crit. Double crit. Bummer. All right. Good for him. Good for him. So, here we go. We have five damage, nine damage, 14. and with the crit, 13. So, so 27. Ow. Yikes. Porthoon. You all right? Yeah. And look at how good they're lined up. They are. <laughs> so 27? Look, yeah, 27. Look at how good they're lined up, he says. And he is not wrong. I'm Although going he to just used his dragon's bow. Stride forward. Oh, did he? A second ago, he said he was breathing fire. Oh, oh yeah, but he was. Oh, that was okay. Oh. No. Uh, I was thinking more for a lightning bolt. Yeah, he, he, he can't do that. Burning hands, maybe. Burning hands will hit too. I'm going to good. stride forward and. Uh, yeah, you'll hit both of them. Again in orcish. Yeah. That one's safe. Yeah. Did you not hear me? It, do my words strike fear and you cannot move? I said be gone! And as I say be gone, fire erupts from my mouth again All and right. covers them with uh, <laughs> the dex saves. Yep, two dex You're saves. a big, scary lizard. The Arbalester got a 10. Not good enough. The Priest got a 4. All right. Wow. They are both going to take 18 fire damage. Woof. Nice. My the Lord. Arbalester immediately Arbalester. starts patting himself down as he's burning, and he dives into the snow, rolling, and quickly he stops moving. <laughs> okay. Well, you, you dealt Protected with Protected by his ally who had been burned in front of him, the, uh, the Priest was shielded from much of the blast, but you can see him holding up an arm as fire scorches across his cloak, uh, his big boar's fur cloak. And uh, he, he hunkers down, turning now with, with fire still licking off of his face. Um, and he looks you in the eye and he says, Perhaps I will run, or perhaps you will die. And lowers his staff towards you. All this in orcish, of course. Yeah. You I. I go up to this guy. And my to hits are 21, 11, 11 and, will do it. and 1. Oh. So I do 9 damage as I punch him in the face, but as I punch him in the face, he needs to make a con save. Uh-huh. All right. Let me find him. Here we go. Stunner. 5. Oh, I didn't think it would work. He is stunned. All right, a quick snap of your fist results in an audible pop as it connects with your enemy. Okay. You've broken something. He stops <laughs> for just a minute, his eyes wide. Zero. Uh, I've got two hits on him for a total of 22 damage as I as he stops moving that I was expecting to have to move around the club, but all of a sudden he's just still. And so, all right. So I bring my first in just at his ribs and the second cutting across under his jaw that she just broke. All right. So 22 total damage. All right. Uh, yeah, you slam straight into him with your falchion. He, uh, he shakes it off, and suddenly he looks like he's ready to fight once more. And that puts us at the Arbalester. You're tremendously howdy. The last of the Arbalesters at disadvantage boy. fires at you. He's not moving, so he's going to be aiming. Uh, both of his shots ping off of your armor. At this point, you can see him cranking back his crossbow, taking careful shots, but they just slam into your pauldron. Gotcha. Barthoon. Uh, I'm going to <coughs> again stride forward. As I um, as I do so, I will um, just say a quick word to Loramir uh, to give myself a healing word. All right. Um, but... As I stride forward, I'm just going to take up the glaive, and the uh, the edge of the glaive is going to flare with radiant light again, and say, um, "It's not I that's going to die today." And I'm gonna just swing it in straight out. All right. So I'm sorry. I, I should have pulled first. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I forgot. You nerd. Uh, how <laughs> you does? nerd. Yeah, I'm a big nerd. Um, big old. How does a 14 treat you? 14 will do it on that guy. Oh, nice. 
that is going to be 11 damage. All right. As you crash your glaive into him, he clutches his arm where you struck, and he sort of, you can see him staggering backwards as he drops his staff, and he looks up, and he says, Perhaps not, but neither will I flee. You are. <laughs> Um, I got the spread on there. Does a 14 hit? And you are d- uh, subtracting your d4s, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Does a 14 hit? 14 will not. Does a 22? 22 will. Um, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 damage? Damage. Um. And what's that with? Your uh, axe? That's, that's my, my punch. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, actually, no, that's with the axe. That's my punch. Oh, okay. You're right, you're right. Um, And I'll use another key point. All right, to do the same? Yeah. Alright, so make, he needs to make a concert? Make a concert. Yep, yep. We're about to go to bed. He got a seven. So. That doesn't uh, work! Stunned You're again. stunned again. I'm just too good. All I'm right. right in the nose. Your powerful strike cleaves through your foe's feeble defenses, and with a fist, you swing straight up into his nose, cracking yeah. the bone. I'm treating him like a cartilage. Cyril. Alright. Uh, I, I swing in once. I guess he's still, uh, still, still, yeah. My first strike is just not good, but my second one was a crit. All right, uh, and so that's going to be eighteen damage. So my first strike. How do you feel? Uh, again, I'm expecting him to to uh, block up with the club, and so I go low, and it pings off the club that's not responding. I just bring the hilt of my uh, great scimitar around and just crack into the jaw that's already fractured. All right, and the uh, the bone is driven into his neck, and that's all right. That does for him, I think. The one directly next to you, and then I'm moving forward. A bunch. A bunch. He uh, he so reaches he out a hand and he places it on your chest. Oh boy! Okay. And you just you see this white almost fog spreading across your chest. Uh oh. It's disadvantage it. though. Uh, oh. But as it does so, it just sort of spills away from your body, as your armor gl- glows with light. <laughs> he was trying to do something bad to you. And yeah. that puts us at the arbalester. Oh, I'm coming for you, dude. The Arbalester who fires... Oh, two shots. All right. Uh, so, one of his shots flies wide, but the other hurdles towards you as you reel from the unexpected assault, and it deals four piercing damage. Ooh! <laughs> Youch! Oh, no! Oh, yeah! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> that stings. Ooh. Oh, boy. Um, I am going to uh, just raise this glaive, and I'm just, at this point, I'm just hacking it. I'm very frustrated and angry right now, so right. I'm taking out all my anger just on this guy. All right. Um, yes. That is a 16. 16 will do it. So that's going to be... How do you kill him? How do I kill him? Um... I'm just going to like start hacking into him okay. as if I'm like kind of like chopping a tree. But even whenever he's dead, I'm just keep going. Just we'll be intimidation check. Sure. Jeez. Is it at advantage <coughs> against this last guy? Yeah. Okay. Uh, no 16. 16? Yeah. You can see that that guy starts fleeing into the night. I'd like to shoot a guiding bolt at him as he runs. All right. So you chop in and raise your hand. Roll, uh, roll that attack. Yeah. I got him. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I definitely got him. Forty-six. Uh, I'm gonna use a higher than a first okay. level. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do sixty-six. That's six. Twelve. Alright. A light, a spear of light slams into his back, piercing through his spine, <laughs> and he drops. As you can see the light arc through the night sky and then disappear. Good. And there, as you finish off the orcs, we will leave our heroes. <laughs> Congratulations again to the winner of our drawing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Congrats, we, we're uh, very pleased for you. We'll send that to you as soon as we uh, hear back from you, from the message that we sent you. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, the curtain will close. Bye. See you guys. See ya. Oh, yeah. (laughs) D20.